Hi hey everyone, welcome to Eden Secret. We're going to make some gorgeous geode bath bombs. Just so pale and pastely and really, really beautiful. So we're going to use some nice coarse chunky sea salt. I need a couple of dishes to mix up my sea salt in because we're going to have two different coloured sea salts. We're going to do Arctic White and we're going to do Blush Pink from Micah Mama. And we're going to mix that in with the salts and then we're just going to make the bath bombs just white uh, with a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance which is um, Seychelles Paradise. It's absolutely stunning, that fragrance. I love it. It works beautifully in bath bombs and it doesn't discolour either. It's definitely a favourite of mine. It's really, really stunning. So let's get making some bath bombs, shall we?
Okay, so that's the bicarb, uh, which is 2.4 kilos. Um, the carrier oil, which is 24 grams. Fragrance oil, 30 grams. And um, witch hazel is 32 grams. I've learned that uh, if you get your witch hazel or your water content just right, your bath bombs will unmold perfectly from the mold without a struggle, without a lot of tapping, pulling, pushing, tugging, all that kind of thing. So that's um, those ingredients. Of course, the SLS is in there as well. Uh, we've got 36 grams of SLSA or SLS, whichever one you use. I've ground the citric acid in the Vitamix and I'm going to add the citric acid into here um, and it can get airborne, it can make you sneeze and cough so I'm going to put my goggles and my mask on for this point. And we just sprinkle the citric acid over the top. And we're going to blend that in well. Some people like to blend the citric acid in. Um, in the mixer but I don't like to do that because it can over blend and it starts to want to mold together stick together which is the whole point of a bath bomb uh, you want it all to stick together but that speeds up the process of uh, making it want to stick together and I want to slow that process down so I just do this part with my hands it doesn't take very long but you want to make sure that you've got every granule of your bicarb is mixed with some citric otherwise you'll end up with craters in your bath bomb so I'm just going around making sure I scrape or every little crumb off the bottom and rub, it, rub that in and once you, you've done that you can take your mask off again I could probably take my mask off now but I'm not going to for a bit of extra mixing you get, could get a hand whisk out uh, an electric hand whisk though and um, just whisk those and then that will just mix it up even better but I'm not going to bother doing that okay so it's nice and crumbly it binds together well and now it's time to get going with the um, the bath bomb moulds. So they're dead easy to make. You just take, um, I'm going to pop a few of the pink ones right in the centre. And then a few of the white. Yeah, let's do that again. All right, it's dead easy to do. I'm just going to put a few grains of the pink in the centre and then pop the white ones around the outside. And this is the trick you need to do for the geode is press that down and it will just keep it nice and neat for you moulding. So because we've got something in here, we need to keep that in position. So we're just going to put some of the mixture in and press it down and that will keep all of those salts exactly where you want them. 
and then just take the other half of the bath bomb mold scrape twist and squeeze at the same time and you don't want to over overfill the molds but you do need them to be full and that's just something you'll get the knack of as uh, as you go along I should have had some glitter around but there's no need because I can actually just paint them can I so again we're just popping that in there press it into position take the other half scoop and squeeze
So how lucky was that? That full batch has made 16 bath bombs exactly with hardly any left over. Just what you can see on the table here. So you can always just save that, pop it in a pot and then pop it in your bath tonight or tomorrow morning, whichever you prefer. I'm just mixing the two together because I've got another bottle of white so this bottle can be the pink. Now, I don't know if you know, um, probably not, because I've only got five subscribers on there, but I've just started a new channel on TikTok called Karen Morland ASMR. And it's doing better than my soap channel on TikTok, which is Eden's Secret Soap. So, the best views I've got on a video on uh, Karen Morland ASMR has got 700 and something views which for TikTok for me is really really good so if you want to go over there and follow me I'd be really really grateful it is all ASMR hardly any talking uh, and my ASMR elastic bands is what I'm going to recreate for you right here and now Okay, so I'm going to leave those in the moulds for 24 hours and then I'll come back to unmould them tomorrow. They take a lot longer to dry them out if you leave your bath bombs in a mould. If you unmould straight away, they don't take anywhere near as long to dry out. Um, but that's what I like to do with the round bath bombs. But the flat bottom bath bombs, I like to unmould those straight away. And same with the... the um, bath bomb press as well they like being unmolded straight away
I've always, always loved the geode look. Super pretty, eh? Super pretty. And there we go, our gorgeous, gorgeous geode bath bombs in Seychelles Paradise fragrance, all ready to go on the website. And I'm hoping you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, a subscribe, a share if you feel like it. And as usual, I will see you all very, very soon another video from Eden's Secret. Bye bye for now.